Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today for this week's Friday haul. Today is Friday, August 9th. Hope you guys are doing great. Everything is good here. I did uh, just a little bit of shopping this week. I did get in the August release from KS Craft, so I will show you all of those dies. I just got it in today, so I haven't had a chance to make anything, but I plan to be doing that uh, later today starting on it at least so yeah thanks for thanks for stopping by i have like i said just a few things i thought i would show you a few little halloween things that i picked up and one fall item so i did get this candle that apparently is hard to find this is a martha stewart candle that i got at home goods and it was $7.99 it doesn't have a scent but it has these cute little ghosts on it there's a pink one a white one and a black one it's got one big wick in the middle here even the tag is tied to the wick so uh, yeah so I thought this would be really cute to put on display I don't think I would burn this not this year at least um, and I love the colors. So I was glad to find that stumble upon that at home goods and then this candle I got for my friend I'm going to visit my friend this weekend in the Poconos she has she has a house there and um, actually I was supposed to go today on Friday but that storm Debbie is coming through and they're supposed to get a ton of rain between here and there so I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow morning and drive down and uh, she's a friend of mine from Oh boy, uh, before high school. So we've been friends for a long time and we try to get together at least once a year. We don't live near each other, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna go see her. Anyway, the point of telling you that is that I'm gonna give her this candle. So this is a DW Home candle, which I love their candles. They have great scents. They're really reasonably priced and usually the packaging is so cute. So look at this one, it's pumpkin spice and it's got a cute label. It says goodies by DW Home and the pumpkin uh, graphics and then it has this cute little rubber pumpkin uh, spice latte on the top now being a crafter I'm thinking you know she could take she's I don't think she's a crafter but she could take this off and use it when it's done but anyway it has a silicone um, lid and it smells really really good so I got that for her and this was also at home goods this was where's the, oh I took the price off because I'm giving it away but I think it was I think it was eight dollars also and then I found this cute little ghost. This isn't a candle. It's just like a light up figure and the tag is tied through the face, but you can see it has the two holes for the eyes and one for the mouth. And it was $4.99, which I thought was great. And it's really pretty aqua color. And it has a battery in there. I'm not gonna take the little thingy out, but it's got the button batteries, has off and on switch. And I just thought it was really, really cute. And I don't usually decorate much for Halloween. I usually prefer fall, but there is so much cute Halloween stuff out, especially this year. So I thought a cute, little, a few cute little things wouldn't be so bad. I actually got more, but I'll show you that in another video. I just wanted to show you a few little things. So there were those. And then when I was at Walmart, they're getting their fall stuff out too. But so far, nothing's really spoken to me. So that's that's probably a good thing. But I did get another one of these. Um, these are the large bead keepers. And these are, I think they're somewhere around $7. I forget. I wish they had prices on here. But they only had a couple in stock. So I figured I would get one while I was there because the last time I bought cabochons, I filled up my last one. And they are stackable and they just fit perfectly in one of my craft cabinets, just like long ways like this. So, you know, you could stack a whole bunch of them up and it has all of these different sections and the things don't come apart, the dividers, which I like. So cabochons won't like float underneath to the next section. And also these are great for like your dew drop ink pads and small ink pads. So uh, I'd love these containers. They're nice and sturdy. So I figured I'd get another one. So there was that from Walmart. And let me show you the KS Crafts Craft release. So this is everything, all the dies from the August release. I think there's some sequins too available on AliExpress. I will link each of these die sets down below to the AliExpress store. Uh, that's where they're usually loaded up first before Amazon. So that's why I always link there, but you could check Amazon as well. 
and the prices are so reasonable and these are original designs that's what I love about KS craft you know they're not stolen designs so um, you know I feel comfortable representing this company definitely so let me show you the dies I did go ahead and label them all so I'll be able to tell you what they were I'm not going to go into like opening them up too much maybe a little bit um, just you know just because this is an overview but this is a pencil bow so it's a bow that has a cute little pencil on it I think the first ones I'm going to send you or, or uh, send you uh, show you are all back to school themed I, that's how I tried to organize this so this is a back to school themed bow and it has uh, pencils on it so there's a, a large medium and small and you order them separately they just they're all together in this one package but I put three sizes to show you that you order them individually so they're super cute bows and they have layering pieces for the pencils that I think it's like a you know a background for the bow so super cute make sure you check them out on the website if you want to see what they look like because Hannah does have examples and again they'll all be linked below and then this one is the pencil gift pouch shaker this was really really cute um, so again I'm sorry I don't have examples but I will get to those and this one has some words let's say it says teacher um, I don't know what that says and then oh you thanking you okay so this would be a great gift for your teachers your kids teachers good favors for your classroom um, it looks like it won't be too difficult to put together since there are a lot of well, there are pieces that are uh, linked together and glue flaps, so you probably just fold everything along the flaps and glue it together, and you have a cute little pencil gift pouch. And I, I bet you don't have to make it a shaker if you don't want to, so, oh, super cute. And then look at how cute this one is. This is the Calculator Mini Album. This is huge. This is, like, bigger than my hand, bigger than a calculator. It's like the size of one of those large adding machines. So uh, how fun would it be to add a cute little saying there um, or a sentiment? It's got glasses you could add to it with eyes and a bow for like a, a bow on the glasses or you can make a bow tie and just lots of layering pieces, um, lots of room to add, um, you know, photos and things like that. So I think this will be super cute. This would be a great like birthday card too if you just want to put like their age in there. I thought that was really, really cute. Next we have, okay, this is the 2024 Christmas Shadow Words. And I don't remember all of the words. Let's see, there's mistletoe kisses. I'm not sure why mistle and toe are separate because that is all one word. And let's see, merry and bright. There are very cute sentiments in here. Let's just open it, right? Hopefully I can read them all, but I remember that mistletoe one. Uh, Santa's Helper, Cookie Taster and candy cane wishes so candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses that would be cute to put together and what did i say the other one was oh merry and bright so really pretty script font and shadows for each of the words so that's always nice and then we have the nail file holder this is the christmas add-on and i think hannah sent me the nail file itself yeah i think that's what this one is because i didn't have this one so i'm glad she sent that to me so this was released uh several releases ago and it creates like a like a sleeve for for an emery board of course you can use it for other things but that's what it was designed for and you know like tj maxx and marshall's they have the cutest emery boards you could buy a pack of like you know hello kitty emery boards or any theme you want and take them out and put put one in one of these sleeves that you make and that would be such a cute little favor gift so this adds uh, like a little Christmas dress onto your nail file holder very cute examples on KS craft uh, there's a belt buckle and you can make it look like like a Mrs. Claus so I thought that was adorable and thank you Hannah for sending me this because I did not have that Next, we have the Gingerbread Man Bag Topper, and you can get this in either the small or the large size. So this is adorable. Look at that little gingerbread guy. Of course, you can make that separate. You don't have to add it onto the bag topper, but that's available for you if you want to. And I love making bag toppers. I love having them on hand for when I want to send out happy mail or want to make a quick little gift. It comes with the icing squiggles, the bow, um, buttons, and a face, and there's layering pieces. So yeah, this is the, um, what did I say this one was? The small one. So this is the large one. You can see the difference. Super cute. I love gingerbread people. When Hannah showed this release, I thought, oh boy, I have to get this whole thing because yeah, obviously. 
And then next we have another gingerbread person. This is not a bag topper. This is just a small gingerbread man. And this one comes with the um, the main part, which has stitching detail. And then it has bows with the layering piece. There's even ties and lots of layering pieces on this one. What is this part? Is that glasses? I don't know if that... I, uh, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it is. And then eyes and buttons. It must be icing, actually, because these are icing, too. So, yeah, I guess that's icing. So, super, super cute. Small gingerbread man. It's always You can't have too many gingerbread dies in your stash, I think, because they're different sizes, different details, different shapes. You know, the more the merrier. <laughs> and then, <laughs> sorry. And then we have the scalloped candy cane tags. These are so cute. Who would have thought of a scallop candy cane? I love that idea. So this is what they look like, and it comes with the smaller and the large size. So there's the base piece, which has the scalloped and the scallops, and then the layering piece, which makes the stripes. So this will come together super quick. It even has a little tag portion up on top. So I love that. I think that's a really fun little die set. The scallop candy cane tags. I plan to make that in uh, traditional colors and pastels. Then we have the 2024 poinsettia flowers. I love making poinsettias. I think they're just so pretty when you make them yourself because you can make them in any color combination you want. So this comes with two different die plates. So um, this one is, let's see, um, I don't know if this is supposed to be the leaves and this is the flower or how that works. It looks like it, right? But I'm sure you could use this as the, the uh, inner part of the flower as well. I'm not sure. There's probably just, you know, different ways we can combine them. But uh, Beautiful Flowers comes with both of them. So looking forward to playing with this probably sooner rather than later. I've been not doing too badly on making flowers lately. So there's that one. And this one is the Build a Santa. This one was super cute. The, the, the examples that I saw, I think it makes arms that kind of pop up a little so you could put something in between them. Yeah. Yeah, see how the hands, they go kind of right there with the arms. It's kind of hard to show you like this on the uh, see-through die, but it, the, the hands come in the front so you could tuck something in the middle, even, either like a piece of ephemera, a little candy cane, something like that. But really cute little face, right? And lots of different layering pieces. So I think that's a cute Santa. So I don't have many like just Santa dies. I think this will be really nice to have. Oh, there's another piece in there too. So the Build a Santa. I'll put that in later. Next we have the reindeer bows. And this you could buy either the small or the large. And you can see it has antlers to make it into a reindeer bow. And there's lots of, lots of stitching detail. Um, looks like you get two different loops for each size, which is really good. It does have eyes and eyelashes too. Um, yep, one for each size. So that is really, really cute. I like that. Very nice. Okay. And next we have, oh, these were adorable, the tiny present boxes. And I'll show you a die set that Hannah, if you missed her video for the August release, you should take a look at it. I'll try to remember to link it down below if you do want to see examples of these. I mean, you could go to the website, but if you go to Hannah's video, she, you know, describes them in detail. So it's really fun. Anyway, she had these as an accessory to a 3D Christmas tree that I'll show you later on. And they look so cute underneath. They're just like little tiny presents that you can make. And you can make them either, you know, sealed shut or have them open. And there are little embellishments that go with them, leaves and bows and the cute little gingerbread guy right there. And then there are ribbon dies. So it's this is really, really cute. Um, yeah, take a look at that one. Next, we have the large gingerbread man shaker. We had the small gingerbread man before. This one is actually a shaker. So it comes with the two big main gingerbread cookie parts and then all the accessories. So this is what it comes with. Yeah, so that, that must be the new way that the icing looks this year. So um, looking, I, I forget how it looks on the finished product, so I'm looking forward to seeing that again. And there's eyes and buttons, bows, bow ties. And as you can see, if you put them together, you can make a shaker. This would be the outer piece, and this makes the frame. So yeah, very, very nice. Lots of space for your big shaker bits if you make it like, nice and thick too. So that is super cute. I bet you could even... I think, I think I saw Hannah, I think it was this one. She made a, like a, a 
plushy with these. So I definitely have to try that because, you know, I love to sew little gingerbread guys. So there's that one. This one is the new bag topper, another new bag topper called Holiday Magic. So the main part says holiday, and then there's a little part on the bottom that says magic. I think this would be super cute if you were doing like a, a Christmas Disney theme because of the magic part, obviously. But, you know, any kind of holiday magic would be nice, but I think Disney theme would be super cute. So I love these new uh, bag toppers that have the, the big word and then the smaller word right below it. And it's all, you know, like trimmed with the, or shadowed with the die. So, uh, and it's got stitching detail as well. Super cute. Next we have the parlor Christmas add-on. And this is the add-on for the ice cream parlor set that was um, released a couple of months ago. So this has the big word gingerbread on it. It's got lots of details to decorate the outside of the parlor. It's got this garland with the Christmas bulbs and then layering pieces for that. It says bakery, so you could have gingerbread bakery. It even has pieces of little cupcakes with layering pieces as well. Gingerbread guys, peppermints, a Christmas tree. I gotta see that Christmas tree. Let's see. I mean, all of these pieces are so nice. So you could use these for other projects, of course. So that's the tray. Look at that, isn't that cute? And then there's a, even a cookie with the layering piece. Love that cupcake, you can make it into a muffin. Maybe it is a muffin, I don't know. And then let's see, a candy cane, a cute little sign. This looks like, um, I don't know what that is. Oh, icing, icing, it goes like this, it drips down, yeah. So this probably goes on like the chimney or a window. And then the cute little gingerbread men there. Oh, this is adorable. I cannot wait to put this together. And then of course, all these pieces too come with it. Oh, the details are just so great in Chaos Craft Eyes. And then here's a bow too, if you can see that. All right, so let's keep going. A few more to show you. Here is a gingerbread man rosette. So look at how cute that is. There's two layers of gingerbread men and you can cut, I will probably cut this down because this will make a very wide rosette because you would double this once you, you know, spin it or, you know, tape them together and, and glue it in the middle. So I probably, you probably need three of these to make a rosette. I haven't made a rosette in a long time, but I think that's what it is, right? Usually three. So super cute, and of course you can save those little pieces that pop out and add to your shakers. So there's that, and I love the scallop, scalloped kind of eyelet trim for the edge of that rosette. Next we have, oh, this is a 3D Christmas tree, and you have to see this in person. This is adorable. So great for your uh, 3D displays, and just uh, if you make a bunch of these and put those little presents underneath it, that would be a beautiful centerpiece for your buffet or your Christmas table, or just like on your islands, on your Chris on your um, kitchen counters. So I think this is adorable. Maybe put a tea light under it. Oh, love it. I'm not going to take it out just because you can't even really tell what it is unless you see an example. So take a look at that. Next we have the 3D candy bag holder. Oh, this was adorable. And this makes like, you fold it up and it makes kind of like a, like a sleeve for some candy and the candy just kind of slides in and out of it. So this was really, really cute. I saw this on uh, Hannah's video. Um, yeah, and it's got these little um, tag dies too with reinforcers, it looks like. It says gift, maybe it says like, let me see if there's something else it says. Might be just gift, I don't know. Looks like a little rosette too, right? I don't remember what that part does. did. And there's a window for it as well. So you could see where it kind of folds here and kind of just comes around. So yeah, I'll make that, I'll make that um, one of my first ones too, because I'm anxious to see how to put that together. This I think is my favorite one out of the whole release so far. This is the gingerbread cooling rack stamps and dies. So you get both of them, the stamps and the dies, which is great. And okay, let me just get this out. Okay. So the stamp has, looks like a cooling rack of a um, gingerbread guy. Hang on. All right. Sorry about that. So if you look at the stamp, it's the same size as the die. But when you stamp it out, it looks like a cooling rack. And it even even has like the dots on the edge, like where a real cooling rack would be, the wire would be melted there. 
And then it has the stamps for all of the different letters of the cookies. And they all have like little sprinkles or, you know, different shaped sprinkles or confetti or just kind of, you know, candy bits on them. And then the die has all the different individual letters and then the big gingerbread cookie. So I think that is adorable. Well, maybe it's not a cookie. It's not really a cookie because it's the mat. It's the cooling mat or cooling rack. Uh, just shaped like a gingerbread man. And then these are the cookies that you would put on there. So I love this. I think this will be so fun to make Christmas baking projects. I can't, I can't wait. So this, yeah, I have so many <laughs> that I want to do right away. But this one, I'm really looking forward to creating something super cute. So again, that's the gingerbread cooling rack stamps and dies. And then the last one I want to show you is the Snowflake mini album. Look at how big this is. So obviously great for Christmas, but could be a winter project as well. Ooh, this is a tight squeeze in here. Hang on. Okay. So it comes with the outer piece, the stitch layering piece, and then the inner piece that has a snowflake detail. And then it even comes with this piece too, which you can layer on top if you want. So I love to do pastel winter projects. I think this will be so nice for a card. You can even use this if you wanted to make like decorations for your house. Um, you know, just kind of make it into like a streamer or a banner. I think that would be beautiful and change the color for your decor. How nice would that be? Something good for your kids to do too, to, um, you know, keep them busy, to make decorations for the house. So I think these are beautiful. Looking forward to creating with all of these. Of course, thank you so much for sending me everything, Hannah. I have got my work cut out for me. So that's all I wanted to share with you this week. I have more orders coming. I have a small impression obsession order coming. Uh, let's see. I have a scrapbook.com order on the way. So those I'll be able to show you next week. I know they were shipped. And I wanted to update you that the second winner of my Doodlebug prize for the Christmas in July, YouTube Hop, did respond to me right away. And both my winners were named Lisa. So congratulations again, Lisa's. You should be getting your... Um, uh, packages in the mail. Probably uh, you, you already got them or you'll be getting them today. So that's all I wanted to share with you. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Looking forward to seeing my friends and catching up with her. And yeah, it, it should be fun. I'll tell you about that next week. And besides that, I'll be busy crafting. So I'll have more Scrap Diva Designs videos coming soon. More KS Craft videos, of course. And that is about it. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, I would love it if you'd stick around and see what other goodies I come up with and the projects and tutorials. And yeah, it's coming to the end of the year. So lots of holiday projects are coming, which is definitely my favorite time of the year. All right, you guys, I will talk to you later. Thanks so much again for watching. And I hope you guys have a great day and weekend. Take care. Bye.